Right, what's my boot sequence on this? 0 0.4, 0 0.04 amps. Okay, that's a bit of a weird boot sequence. It does jump up to um, 300 milliamps, but it delays a little bit. So we've got a short somewhere there by the look of this. So, yeah, jumps up to 40 milliamps, hangs for a little bit, jumps up to 330, then drops back down to zero. Okay, it's a bit of a weird one. That's a bit strange. Let's plug it in, see what's happening with it. A bit of a strange boot sequence, that is. So, this is going to be board, I think, number 10 of the 15 that I bought. This video probably still would have been here without today's sponsor. But hey, it's time to show something, right? So here goes. Here at The Coder Productions, we love nothing more than to take as much money from you, the viewer, as we possibly can. Which is why we're proud to talk to you about consolefix.shop. A great place for you to spend your hard-earned cash. I mean, yeah, fair enough. You get parts and supplies that help you fix things, but you've got to give me some money in return. Nothing in life's free, and if you pay me for it, you might appreciate it more. Or not, hey, I'm not judging. With that being said, we do have some pretty cool stuff on the shelves, including power supplies, HDMI ports, charging chips, MOSFETs, and whatever else you can think of that will give you the illusion that you're getting a good deal. So head on over to the online store by clicking on the link in the video description, and if there's one thing I can guarantee, is that there will be a way for me to take your money. Console fix, your friendly money grabbing YouTuber. So let's have a look at some voltage rails. So I think this is going to be board number 10. I'm not entirely sure. It could be 10, could be 11. Out of the 15 boards I bought. Right, we have a 5 volt rail. We have a 3.3. We have a 5 there. We have a 3.3 there. We have a 5 there. 2 there. Are we going to get... A 0.8 volt rail. Yep. We get a 2.5 volt, 12 volt, 1.1. No 5 volt. Okay. We've got no 5 volt here. No 5 volt there. So when we pair the console on, we're supposed to get a 5 volt rail just down here. And that's not enabling. So... Let's try and find out why. What be the deal with this one then? Alright. So I'm going to just bridge these caps a second just to make sure that we've got no excess current in here. And uh, let's bridge those as well. There we go. Microscope time. So I'm going to go straight for F7501 because that's a pretty common area for shorts when we've got no 5 volt rail there. So, let's have a look. Uh, apparently, no. Apparently, there is no short there. Okay, no short there. Fuse any good? Yeah. Right, let's have a look up here. Whoops, no short. That fuse is good. So this is a 5 volt rail, which is why I'm checking it. Well, 5 to 3.3. Appears fine. No shorts there. And that fuse is good. Okay, we've got a little bit of rework around here. Uh, huh. Okay, that safe bridge appears to have been replaced or reflowed with some not very good soldering on the BIOS, I see. So this has had some rework. I'm just going to scan around the Wi-Fi IC. That, that, um, that safe bridge has had rework. So, that's duly noted for now. No shorts around Wi-Fi. I don't think I've worked on this. HDMI encoder. Oh, short on the encoder. Why wasn't I giving a short on there a second ago? 
we have a short on the encoder. Is that the reason why this isn't working? Still short. Okay, still short. Ah, there we are. Huh. For a start, there's a resistor knocked off there. Okay, well. Forget the uh, resistor for now. Well, actually, then again, we can put that resistor back. Right, I'll solder that properly in a minute. But for now, I want to find out why we've got a short there. So, I'm going to inject into that line, I think. Let's inject one volt into that. What do we get? Not a whole lot. We get 0. Point, we get 80 milliamps. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> 80 freaking milliamps. I ain't nowhere near enough. And I'm not going more than one point, uh, more than one volt. Right, okay, well, this is going to be a problem. I'm going to have to go more than one volt because I can't sit there and remove every single component just to find that short. So, I'm going to have to go a bit higher than one volt here. Damn it. Let's knock that freaking resistor off again. Right, that's actually isolated the short though. With that resistor being gone. So, it's this side somewhere. Uh, well, it did go up to 200 milliamps, but then it's just dropped back down to 20, 29 ohms. That's not normal at all. It could be the safe bridge. Uh, what mess are we into? Uh, PS5 with a short around the HDMI encoder. Right, so what could it be? It could be the could be these caps here. No, it couldn't be them caps there, could it? Because it's not connected to there. It's got to be one of these down here all right just ping them off one by one ha there you go <laughs> one by one yeah that short's just gone <laughs> oh dear all right so we shouldn't get a short on this side now all right one probe on ground Yeah, open line. No shorts. Start to rebuild.
So why someone's reflowed the safe bridge there, I will never freaking know. But apparently they have. Like, considering I found that within what ten minutes, like you, they shouldn't have reflowed that safe bridge. But never mind. Right, let's go back to twelve volts and uh, let's just see. Oh, we got an old ground connection there. Um, yeah, let's just see if we get a boot sequence that resembles anything close to being normal. And then I'll plug it in and see what happens. No. No, that is not a normal boot sequence. 24 milliamps. By the way, for anyone wondering, Tarek's waiting for a board for me to replace one that I couldn't fix for him. I don't think that's soldered properly. Let me just clean it for that. It could have a bad HDMI encoder as well. But that would be a bit gutting, to be honest, because they're not cheap. We could have also blown a few for injecting voltage as well, by the way. That's always possible. That looks okay. That looks okay. Looks okay. Not sure. No, it's not. That's not soldered properly. Let me just scan the fuses and just make sure, but that's not soldered properly. But I will just scan these fuses just to make sure that it's not anything to do with any of that. Yeah, they're all fine, but I think it's the HDMI encoder's not soldered. back up to a normal boot sequence now that's not quite right it's not quite right he's jumping up to 40 milliamps and holding there for a second so I don't think it's turning on still Ugh. could have told me I didn't plug it in guys Right, we've got no short there now, we're getting um, 0.15 volts, but we still have not got power there. Uh, we've still not got 5 volts there, which is strange. Um, so there's no short there on that line now. Right, let's try changing that encoder, just in case it did take out the encoder. If not, then I think I'm going to have to re-ball the south bridge, but that's not going to be tonight because it's already nearly 4am. So I'm just going to change this encoder real quick. Let me just pair this stupid thing back on. Right, replacement encoder. Don't know if that's the right orientation because I can't see it. The chip's not cracked, it's just got some pubes on it. See? It's fine. go what does my boot sequence say now Let's give it a second no it still hangs it still hangs on 0. Uh, 0. 0.4 milliamps well 40 milliamps sorry um i think i think the initial issue is resolved but 
the fact that the safe bridge got reflowed, it's probably going to need a new one. And unfortunately, that is not something I'm going to be reboarding tonight. Because I am ready for my bed. Do I get that 5 volt back? No. No, I don't. Yeah, I think that safe bridge probably wants replacing. Um, I don't do controller repairs, mate, no. Um, you're better off speaking to Lee for me with micro repairs on that, mate. I bet there's a bridge under it, possibly, yeah. Um, I don't know, it's hard to say, but yeah, not something I'm going to be doing tonight. Okay, well, that's going to be it then, I suppose. Um, I'm not going to replace the safe bridge tonight. I will carry on with it tomorrow. It's nearly 4 a.m. Well, it's pretty much is 4 a.m. Oh, fuck Ace, he's a dickhead. Not not, not shitting him. He wants to sit there and slag me off on live streams, he can fuck himself. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Screw Ace. To be continued, yes. No, oh, Ace sat there slagging me off on his live stream because he's jealous. So, hell no. Yeah, good night then. <laughs> yeah, thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um... Yeah, I might do this tomorrow daytime. I probably will do it tomorrow daytime, actually. Um, no comment, Tech Doc. <laughs> Not seeing his channel. Nope. Yeah, thank you all. Appreciate it. I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy, everyone. Good night.